Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to remove multiple columns all at once. So this is a very simple example here where we have these multiple columns here. Uh, this is a small table, but if it was a larger table, there would probably be some other issues. But let's see what we want to do. We want to get to look like this, where we have those common columns that are just blank in the uh, subsequent row fields and just turn them into a regular table that doesn't have any blank columns. Let's see how we can do this. And there's going to be a couple scenarios. I'm going to go through a couple of examples of how you can delete multiple columns and most of them are going to be in Excel and there's the last one I'll show is how you can do it in Power Query because we may come into some situations where we have a lot of columns and to do it with the other two ways is not really going to be a good use of your time. But let's see how we can do this. Now for the most part if you want to delete multiple columns the easiest part to do is just the easy way to do it is just press control and then select multi select your columns right so just select those columns here these are the ones that have blanks right so these may be something that you get from somebody else or from a system and it just has these blank columns that you don't need you select them uh, hover over one of them right click click delete and you have deleted the columns now this is the easiest way we can do it and um, if there are a lot of columns that probably would not be a good way to do it because you have to do a lot of multi-select, right? So the, the, near the end of the video, I'll show you doing it with Power Query. It's a nice way of doing it. But let's say that you were lucky enough to get these columns where instead of having headers, they were blanks. So if we deleted all these blanks, maybe this was something that would be a little bit easier to do. Um, and all you need to do is just select the first row, press Control G to go to, find special and just select the blanks in that row, click OK. Now I'd select those blanks, right click, delete, and just delete that column, click OK, and now your columns are gone. So that probably is the easiest way to do it if you had blanks and you didn't have to worry about column headers. And there were a lot of them. Now another way we can do it, now this is coming into the Power Query part, where we wanted to put this in the Power Query. Maybe it was the situation where we had a lot of columns and maybe after our, maybe after Q, there were additional columns that had data in it. And then later on in column AA or AB, there were blank columns and you didn't want to do a control click to select it all. Well, with Power Query, we can do it actually fairly easily. So just select anywhere in our range, or I can just select my range here and go to data from table and range and my table does have headers click ok and it'll pull it into power query power query makes a table and then pulls it into power query now in power query all you need to do is just put in some lines of m code the first step is called source here so it's taking the source from the current workbook and that's table one all we need to do is enter in another step so here i'm going to add another step and just press the f of x and it's going to add a step and it's going to automatically reference the previous name of that step. So the previous name of that step is source. Now that's key. We need to include that in our formula. It's going to be a, a nested formula of some n functions. So I'll just remove that for now. I'll just type table dot remove. Let's see if we can find it. Remove columns. Select, select that and open parentheses. And we're going to put source in there. Source and just click that. And within that source, what do we want to do? We want to get a list of the table names, or the table column headers. All right, so there's another function called list.select, open parentheses, table.column names. Where is column table.column names? Click on that and open parentheses. Now, what table are we gonna we're gonna get? We're gonna get that table from the source step. All right? So type source again. Just click on that. Power Query is case sensitive. And that is what we need. So let's hop outside of that parentheses, comma. It's going to take us back to this list.select function. And we're going to look for each instance where it finds the word column. So we have to go each and the text that contains. Select that. Open parentheses. Each instance, and then we can put an underscore there, comma, of the word column. 
end, we have our three closing parentheses because there's three open parentheses, one, two, three. That's right. And you can see all the columns here. They're going to disappear. Press Enter. Whoops. Let's see if we missed something here. Remove table, table. Oh, so I had two tables here. So let's delete that. Make sure I had my equal sign there. Press Enter. So now we have our table, which has removed all those columns. Click Close and Load. It's going to load it into a new worksheet here in the file. And it's loaded all 1 million rows. Unfortunately, I don't think I have a million rows. I think I've selected too many rows. Control down arrow. Let's see how far we go down here. Control down arrow. It only goes far as far as 1181, that table, because I select it from column to column, and that's why I did that. So what we can do is just make sure that we don't have any blank rows. Um, let me just do something extra here. Double click that. And one of the steps I'm going to do is get rid of any of the blank rows, right? So that's probably going to be in the first one here. So click on that, remove empty, and that should remove any of the empty rows. Click close and load. Now we're going to have, instead of 1 million rows, hopefully only 1,180 rows. So that was that instance. So let's do the same thing if we have another scenario, right? Let's go into table 3, close that. Now we have an instance where maybe we're getting this from somebody else, and it's column here, column here, but then there's another column that's also blank, but it says miscellaneous and miscellaneous and miscellaneous. Well, we can do the same thing here. So I'm going to select this. I'm not going to select all the columns. Let's go to data. Let's see if this picks it up correctly. Table and range. Let's see, A1 to Q1181. Great. Click OK. And it's going to bring it back into Power Query. We're going to do the same thing we did earlier, but we're going to have two statements instead. So click on the F of X, and we're going to have our same thing we did earlier. Table dot remove columns. And let's find our columns function here. And open parentheses, source, because we're going to call in that first step. And from our source, comma, what we want to do, we want to get the list of those column names. List select and table dot column names. Oops, column names. Click on that. And the column names are coming from what? It's coming from that source function. Get outside that parentheses, comma, and at each instance, Go to text, capital text, dot contains. So we want to have it where it contains. I'll just select that. At each instance, underscore, where it has the word column, capital. And then we have our three parentheses there. Press enter. Oops, did it again. We had table here. Let's delete this one. Press enter. Oops. Oh my gosh. Equals table dot remove column headers. Let's see what happened here. Ah, oh, what it did was it's a good thing we have this. Sometimes it's good to expand it because that's what actually happened. Let's delete that. That syntax is correct because now it shows us what happened there. Press enter. Let's go to the end here. Or we can just press the check mark and it worked. So it got rid of the columns, but it did not get rid of the miscellaneous. All we need to do is add a second line and just remove, replace that columns keyword with miscellaneous. So I will take this, control C to copy, F of X to enter a new step. And instead of this custom one, press control V to enter. And we're still pulling from that source. So I will type in, instead of column, type in miscellaneous. Press enter. And now close that or uh, collapse that. You can see the miscellaneous columns have disappeared. And if we want to look at the full code, go to advanced editor and you'll see that what it's done, it's, it's taking column, looking at each instance of column, removing it, looking at each instance where it contains the word miscellaneous, removing those. And this is under the assumption that these columns are blank, have blank rows, subsequent rows. Click done and pull it in to our worksheet. It's going to put a new worksheet together and we have our 1,180 rows. So if you had a small table, 
probably doing the first step where you can just multi-select with the control key or if it's blank, then just looking for blanks would suffice. But if you had a large table, and this is something you did on a recurring basis, using Power Query is probably going to help out a lot. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.